Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikey07 and you're watching the next Zimler 2 tutorial. So in this tutorial I want to show how you can make a collision and shadow for your car. So let's say you have finished your mode like this. I have LG, Elegant and the car itself. And as you can see I don't have any collision or a shadow. So what you want to do is uh, to import a regional car which mostly fit the uh, shape of your car mode. For me it's elegant so I'll import elegant. As you can see it shows up like this and now you can just delete this elegant from here and now you have left with the collision and shadow. As you can see it doesn't actually fit the car so we'll modify it so it fits. Uh, let's move this collision and shadow to this one and delete this one so you have only this shadow yeah let's start with the shadow so basically what you want to do is to move all these things the place which moves out print so it uh, doesn't go outside the uh, size of the vehicle from the shape of the vehicle so you can do it by go to the uh, vertex mode click on the shadow let's move it up so it's enables okay now I can can shadow and now we can just modify and fit how you want usually what I start is by just scaling so here the shadow and just scale you can just move up and down and it will scale in our case we need only to scale x x so we disable this one and I should know but yeah we need we need xx, 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 yeah, <laughs> and scale until it goes inside the vehicle. Let's select no, so because it's a mistake. Yeah, and as you can see, now you are left with the four corners. What you want to do is to just move and again to vertex mode. Let's just take this corner and mode in on oh, this enable and move like this and this corner as well basically we could move for front okay so around here now we can go and move it a bit lower like now both sides now we might be able to move it a little bit out so the shadow is actually longer. And move. Yeah, basically what you don't want to do is to leave some piece out, let's say. Remote. Don't move. Let's say. You move like this. And now in the game, these here parts will be dark uh, you could see the shadow which doesn't look so good in the best case you could just add more polygons here so you can move only the uh, edges the corners and the middle part will stay uh, in here because as you can see here the front is like a V shape and here we have only straight so we need to move in until we don't see it anymore something like uh, this uh, and the back the same I'll just move this one in yeah I'm pressing space to enable selfie mode and now go to the corners and as you can see in the back you are able to move just the corners actually we need white X as well you can see we moved it nicely in so the shadow doesn't go through the body of the vehicle and also the wheels you can move to the right location and actually move them a little bit out and scale only in the xs axis and it's scale and you can see moves hold the side and something like this 
and also on the front it looks like the front is already as it needs to be we can move this one that's why axis enable and let's just move a lower and scaled up no not this one only on x axis Okay, something like this no the game uh, shadow would look great what more you can do is here move the uh, shadow a little bit up so it, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the car and the roof as well as you can see this elegant was a really small car we have to adjust the shadow and at the back yeah let's move a bit in where is it this corner I don't see where it's here oh it's this one yeah let's take this corner and this corner and now when you scale in, uh, the back or front view you can actually move both sides in at the same rate and as you can see it moved in and you don't see it now let's check the back it's actually in the right place okay, let's move no but yeah let's move it enable white axis and this is another thing you can do as you can see I moved this shadow out and it will make like a shadow effect for the license plate for this line here. You can actually leave it like that. Let's move this corner out as well. See how far we can go. It actually can go. Okay, I guess that's all for the shadow. Let's check. Let's check the model, how it looks like the shadow. Yeah, you can also uh, remove this bumper part as you can see this car doesn't have such a lip for the front bumper so let's make it more realistic here this one and let's move this one out so it's more like a, a this mercedes shape yeah as you can see very often models don't pay attention to this thing but they actually make it look worse when you uh, have high settings in this Andreas. Okay, let's disable. And as you can see, the shadow is ready, and now if you would export it to this game, it will look utterly good. And let's go to the collision and collision. And for collision, the same. As you can see, it's Collision is, is these spheres which you, you need just to move in. Here from the top view, let's go from the top view and let's just move collision boxes in. I always make it a little bit smaller than the car itself. Okay, let's move at the back as well. Here, here this one, this here. Okay, and two more. Oh, one more. And in the front as well. And in, in, in the back. They don't need to be precise just so it doesn't stick out. And from the side, it sure looks good. Let's just move this a little bit lower. Like this, so it fits the car. And the last part for the collision is here at this plane. Where is it? On the top view. As you can see, here is this plane, which is just like a hood a roof, and the back, which actually is the uh, place at which the water droplets hits and on which the player walks. So these you can move a little bit 
uh, closer to the high closing C here this one around here the back and this one here and last one here yeah and let's make it a little bit narrower as well you can just uh, go to the object mode and scale from from this view on the X axis around somewhere here and that's about it that's how you uh, make collision and shadow so when you look uh, for the mods it says custom shadow and collision this is what it means the collision and shadow is actually uh, adjusted for the car shape and let's go to shadow and uh, here are the collision and the shadow yeah something like this i hope it was helpful for those who need it thank you for uh, watching leave a like subscribe and i will see you in the next lesson bye